Hi guys and welcome back to episode 25 of the Rain series. In the previous episode, we went to Shoreline and we got a heap of stuff done there. And besides that, we uh, we did a interchange run. Uh, in this episode, I plan to go into customs, try and get our Punish Part 3 started. Maybe even get that daily we had started in the previous episode and uh, get that one done as well, which is 5-2 customs. And I'll probably do a scav run to uh, see if we can get that blue tank. So, without further ado, let's crack straight into it. All right, so first up, uh, we need to make a little bit of space so we can go into customs. Uh, all we need to do is take in an AKS-74U. So the way I like to do this, and I know you guys would probably want it to be super modded out and stuff, but generally this is all I do for the actual AK. I generally just put that on the back. I know you're like, wow, Pest, you do literally nothing. And yep. I just feel like every time I go in fully modded with the AK, uh, it just ends up turning to shit. So... Look, if you want me to be like super nutty with it, yeah, I'll put a suppressor on. But in all seriousness, every like like I said, every time I go into the, the uh, into customs on Punisher Part Three and I go full full kitted out with it, it always turns to shit. So I'm gonna leave it at that. For this RPK though, I'm gonna sell it. Put that in there. Uh, maybe enough to get skier over the line, maybe. A little bit more to go. Hook tags go in there. We need to take this docks case in because that's our custom stock uh, docks case. Put that in here for now. Anything for customs in this? Nope, nope, nope. Oh, sweet. And we'll put that down here. So, that's pretty much all we need for this. Um, pretty happy to actually switch this around and sell that one. That might get her over the line. Him. Nope. Oh. Right. This stuff can all actually go down here now. Alright, we can repair that. Gear. Bam. Gear level 2. It hasn't updated because it was through a repair. Alright, let's get into our customs run. I think I'll do that first and then worry about going into interchange on a scav. Just so I can... Uh, movement happening, I think. Put that down there for now. See, we've got so much stuff that we could be putting in here. Man, we need to do a tidy up. We'll get there. All right, let's get this customs run up, going. All right, Punisher Part 3. So I usually have a strategy that works somewhat okay. Um, I usually go new gas. But from this side, I usually just try and go new gas, construction, and out. Um, from the other side, I'd go through construction to old gas and out. So we'll see how we go. We just need to kill Rochelle as well. So that actually would work out well for us. on how we do it. Ooh. 
we want to be a little bit more adventurous. All right. So my strategy would be new gas, and then we'd go into construction to ramp and out. This is I usually do these runs fairly quickly. I'm gonna go old gas. I don't know why. I just feel like going old gas. There's already people at dorms. Have there. Someone at all gas. Maybe we just go back now. <laughs> Not equipped. We're taking on players, and that was people fighting at all gas. Have a player up there. Walking like a scav. Oh, let's go kill some scavs. Off in an adventure. Dude, there was old at old gas head started heading this way. Trying to move quickly to get as many scams as possible before the players come and try and kill me. This could be a musical or customs. The map which players can either be really shit or really amazing. Fuck's the scav gone. Literally chasing a scam for days. Hello, is anyone in here? Hello? Think he was over here? But he could be over here. Uh, 
I honestly have no idea. I want to get rid of that fuel. Yeah. White tape, we want blue tape. Well, indicator half. I don't think Rashal is in this raid. But. Already got a lot of scabs. I'm just going to go through construction and out now. Construction drive out. Get this duffel bag for a blue tape. There too. Okay. Nice. You need them, you can never find them. Not just catch up. Dead now. That put us up to the Punisher. Cut three. Eight so far. Nice. Super keen on going towards storms. We take. Now I do want to just focus on getting out. What's happening? It feels like a part of me died here. This task used to have a time limit on it. I think it was three hours you had to kill 35 scavs. Just call him hobo. I want to get out this way now. Wait, 
кепку! Player. Probably means he doesn't know we ran away, but... Get his blue tape out. win 10 scavs i think 10 scavs and got the blue tape yep so no complaints here uh spawned in hung around that ga new gas area i i wouldn't normally do it like that i just felt felt like because there was so many scavs around me it's just worth taking the risk Generally, I would just go in that situation, new gas, then um, construction, roof out. And then when I spawn the, the custom side, the red side, I'll go like roof, uh, construction, old gas. And then if old gas isn't open, I can keep going all the way out to it further. But it worked out really well. All right. Um... Now, I'm just going to dump all this stuff in here. For ammo, uh, let's just put BP in there. Don't need these. had the Vega, Vega Tom. Seven thousand XP to hand that in. And we get two sugars actually, so that's really good. PMC some factory. Um awards. Already got it. Cool. Um sugars. Cool. And let's get into the next one. This is actually used for a quest. Technically. Alright, let's go again. hate this spawn so it is what it is so my part thing here will be go through Ruaf construction cross to old gas and then if all gas open we leave if not then we uh we keep pushing along we just kill all the scavs along the way I don't think we handed in Polycom Hobo.
I move quickly. Just want to get out of this area because there's no real, not really any scabs that are going to spawn in that area. Scabs yet, yeah, it's a bit mean. Rude. Yes, yeah, scabby, 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 scabby. <laughs> Go up on that hill. We don't want to go on top of that other thing. We'll just die. One tap. I need to move now so I don't get swarmed by players. I really do want to show you this path because I feel like for me it works really well. I generally don't stop. Like I just go to the next one spot, keep moving, go to the next spot, keep moving. And if there's no scabs there, I don't like hunt around ages for them. Just have a quick look around. Can we go up here to old gas? Gas is not open. down. Well, we hit him. <laughs> oh, that is KS smacking me. Yeah, there could be a player up here. In that last shot.
That was strange. He could have pushed me then. We thought after we missed the jump on me, he just decided not to. I don't know. This is open though. We'll probably reset here. Cheeky reset. Get a couple of scams though. Maybe four. Yeah, we got four. All right, and that should be our daily. I think there was survive customs twice, so. Extra daily done, a bit more XP. And we're doing something already, so. Uh, pathing. Okay, so that's the path I pretty much try and take for this quest. So you go, if you're spawning on the, uh, the custom side, you go across the Ruaf, through construction and then um, to old gas. And then if old gas isn't open, you go down to that extract that I went to. There's also in that open area to the left on the way to that extract that we took. Um, there's scavs out there. And then obviously if that extract's not open, you go to the further one, furthest one, and um, you can get the scavs on the way to there. That's usually the path I take. Uh, Ragman, survive two, uh, custom raids, done. We also got Polish and Hobo number four. Cool. Um, I need to sell some stuff. Whiskey. RGD. All right, unload, top up with some more BP. And uh, repair that. Vodka. Jurors we'll put in the uh down here. Cool. Right. Let's get into another one. Customs. Let's go. Need eleven more. Right, old gas. So how do we do this? I'm not gonna do the way I would normally do. Only for the fact that I I want to try and get Rashala. So instead of going construction, okay, part thing I would normally do, go to construction, then head over to, uh, like through there to construction and then head over to Ruaf and out. It's a pretty small run, but it's just how I would normally do it. Instead, I'm going to take on all the planes I have to do, tank on, and go down to you guys, and then I'll go construction and out. Little rat, you're going 
Scav as well. Come on. What we can do here. Turn the power on. But then if we need to do a fast extract, we can. Say, what the fuck was that? One tap. One tap right there. Look around the front, see if there's any more scavs. I think we need five more. at all gas. It's the kind of stuff we're constantly trying to think about. Like, if there's a gunshot, guys don't generally shoot for random reasons. Like, they can, but usually if, they, if a scav randomly shoots, I don't know if they still do this, but one of the main reasons was they used to shoot dead bodies just to make sure they're dead. So, um, I think they still might just do random pop shots every now and then, but... Skill issue. Me, apparently. Alright. Uh, so we spawned in old gas. Uh, instead of doing through construction like I normally thought I would, we went over to new gas. We got a couple of scabs over there and then died on the way towards construction. Um, not really much else to that. We did get six scabs though, so we only need five more. And we should be able to do that nice and quick. So that was a flechette shot. Righto. Good, Good shot. I think I can squeeze in one more raid. So let's get it done nice and quick. He might have just been at the at the corner and I just didn't see him somehow. Uh alright, we need that, that. Done. 
lots of guns. Well, technically, we can actually go this. Uh, at a preset. Well, those three parts. Couldn't. Cheaper to not buy it. From the uh greatest symbol ignore that back on. All right, and four mags. Buy a couple from here. What do you mean a car? Buy three. Do not want to take that backpack in. So I won't take a backpack in. If I can't get the kills in, I can't get five kills in 90 rounds, I'm probably going to be dead. Uh, cool. Let's go. All right. So we're near the old gas spawn. Be a player here. I'm going to go down this way and I'm going to go to New Gas. I want to get five scabs as quickly as possible. I'm trying to think about where that guy was in that last raid. I kind of feel like he might have been right on the corner in a bush. Oh, this guy's not up yet. Hello? Dude, some lunatic just shot at me. Oh my god! Three down. All right, my strategy here is going to go back towards this called checkpoint up ahead. Fill the scabs there. I'm going to go to old gas. I don't know what or who this guy is shooting at. Been killed. Move quickly for a second. I don't want to get clapped by a player. Not in the open here. All right. I just need one more. So I'm going to go over here. 
so I can't be shot from the hill. I'm going to pop this. Not sure if that was a player or a scav, but we definitely know that there's a scav here. Right, and he's got a pilgrim backpack, so we're going to go for that pilgrim. And that guy had a shotgun. That guy was doing set up. He had a Yushankar on and a Pachetti shotgun. So we spawned in over, um, where did we spawn? Oh, behind, near, between Old Gas and I don't know what that building's called. I think it's people call it like water tankers or something. Uh, we took the power, jump the fence, killed some scavs, went around, did a circle, killed some more scavs, jumped the fence again, and killed another scav and died of player. Unfortunately, we didn't get that pilgrim. It's actually needed for a quest, but uh, we'll get one through our scav runs and stuff. Hit level 25 from that. Hit level 25 from that. Yeah. By using for the chetties. So there's a lot of people doing their setup task on our uh, customs at the moment. That's why you'll see the guys with the shotguns and chetties. Um, outside of that, I'll hand in the quest, but that will be very close to the end of the episode. I don't think really much else I can do. I'm glad we got Punisher done. We got Punisher done in an hour. Pretty solid. Punisher part three. This used to be a task you had to get done. I think it was in two hours, something like that. All right, we can hand over these knives, which means the other knives can be, uh, fucked off too. Brick a lot of materials, so we can hand over this. Lend lease. Energy crisis. Lots of tasks now. Ambulance. Fishing place. <laughs> yeah, a few, few quests. Um, let's see. Do I have room? That DVL. Oh, make sure I'm not missing anything. Uh, yeah. Happy days. So, big episode. We got Punisher Part Three done in one right in one in one hour. So that's that's a that's a fairly, fairly solid achievement. Um, you've kind of learned a few little pathing techniques. Obviously. New gas has a lot of scavs spawn around that. You can uh, peruse between new gas checkpoint and, um, and and old gas. You will run into a lot of players doing that though. My normal strategy is you spawn in, you go through Ruaf, construction, old gas, and 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 kind of use that like, I don't know, C kind of shape on them. Like, I don't know, it's like a curve. The main reason is a lot of people are going to crack house, dorms, and they're kind of not going through that center line. And then that's why I use the old gas and Ruaf because you can extract it, like both those ex uh, extracts. Um, so if you, you know, if you go on one way or the other, that's where your e exit point should be. So I usually don't spend too much in a raid. If I get five to six kills in a raid, that's usually a pretty good raid. I know I got, I think 11 in one of those, but that was me just being greedy. I wouldn't normally do it exactly like that, but it's good to show you the different spawns. If I just did the same strategy over and over again, you're not going to learn as much. So I feel like that was a better way to do it. Anyway, that's it for this episode. Use a real like and comment for the YouTube algorithm. Check out the intros. Make sure you are looking out for the uh, secret clues in that. The Raf and Raf video should be live about now on the main Pestily channel, youtube.com forward slash Pestily. And the, uh, I do a podcast, a weekly podcast with my neighbor. Those go out on Mondays or Tuesdays. So um, keep an eye out for that. But if you haven't listened to the first episode, that's on the Pestily Unmasked channel. 
Um, there will be some more Tarkov content going out on the main channel as well. And uh, they're a lot more highly edited and, and informative videos and entertaining videos. Unlike these ones are still informative and entertaining, but they're more like longer format. And uh, we, we're, go we're going through a new angle with the main channels, like really high production value. This is like good, good, good to great production value, extreme production value on the main channel. Anyway, that's it, guys. Have a great weekend. And I'll go. And lastly, I'll see you next time.